guys welcome back to my channel i'm gonna give you an upgrade on my garden tour i'm actually gonna reap some of what i've planted and show you how things is going on in my garden so if you have not done so please remember to like this video give it a thumbs up turn on your post notification please subscribe to my channel and remember to leave a comment let's start reaping so guys i'm gonna show you my breadfruit tree it's actually coming on quite well there's a few breadfruits on it now so i'm gonna zoom in to, just to show you how, how it's looking i can't wait for it to get big breadfruit is so 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 good i have to do a video on how i prepare my breadfruit so one of these days all right there's two right there and there's another one right there this is my sour sap so this is a very nice fruit it's very white and sweet on the inside it has a lot of seeds in it we normally use these fruits to make juices like sour sap juice or we can just eat it just like this but some people boil a leaf you know they say the leaf is a good tea for nerves if you have nerve sickness you can boil this i used to grow up and see my grandma use it all the time when she have her like arthritis you know and so on. this is what we call a sweet sub tree and this is how the fruit of it looks this is so so sweet here's a small one these fruits are very popular in jamaica and in the caribbean too but it might go by a different name but in jamaica we call it sweet sub here's another one So it has little black seeds there's actually a white flesh fleshy part and there's black seeds all in it all these little particles have seeds in it this is um apple tree this is how the Jamaican apple tree looks. But there's no apple on it, no. But there's some blossom on it. Let me just zoom in just to show you. Can you see the blossom? It's right there. All right, this is our apple tree. So it's actually, it doesn't shape like the American apple. It shapes like, um, like a pear but it has a red skin and when you cut in the skin there's a white flesh and there's a big seed the flesh is very very soft and the skin is also soft you can just eat the skin it will just melt in your mouth but it's really nice if you use it to make juice i'm actually picking some limes now one right here See this ones? Look at it. So we have to be very, very careful when we're doing this because the, the tree has a whole heap of thorns on it. You might go rape in your finger. Normally, we use a gloves. But this is my favorite thing to use and this is so easy to make we just get some like some wires and and this is from one of the trees and we just use it to hook the line
so guys this is what i've harvested today guys look at this orange this has the perfect color and here's some more but they're not they're still green these are very very sweet Look at these ones, they're so big. So guys, this is my beautiful cactus plant. It is looking so amazing. And you know, you can use cactus for a lot of different stuff. You can use it for, for your hair, your skin. It's a good plant to have around. So now I'm heading back. You remember the big old mango tree I show you? It started to have little babies now. So really, a whole lot of mango blossom. Let me show you how it's looking. This is the mango blossom. So you remember this mango is called the East Indian mango tree. Remember I spoke about it in my first garden video. You need to check it out. It's pretty interesting. So this is another mango tree and this one is called Julie. This is a different type of mango but it's very fleshy and sweet as well. It's not as big as the, the, the mango tree I just showed you, but it's also big. Mangoes are very popular in Jamaica. I'm going to show you the very big pumpkin. You remember how big it was? Now it's fit and ready, so I'm going to go ahead and sweep it. So stick around. Oh my God, look at it. This probably weigh a ton. Let's put it right here. God, look at this. So this is all organic, no fertilizers, just all natural, all rainwater and natural compost. Look at it. Wow. So I will be definitely making some pumpkin soup, pumpkin rice, pumpkin pie. As a matter of fact, anything you want in pumpkin, put it in the description box and I will make it. If I can't make it, I will, I will research it for sure and I will make it, I promise. So guys, this is known as the gongo peas or pigeon peas. So we have to feel it. So if it's hard on the inside, that means it's ready. So this one is ready. Getting ready to pick them. You see how they look? This is how it looks. Look at it. This is how it looks. This is the pod, and it has about 
probably about six peas all in one pod and when it gets um, hard mature dried it turns brown next time when i have my climbing shoes guys i'll climb all the way up i'm like spider-man so you see how big the lawn is so this is a good lawn to to do some workouts walk around for maybe three laps that would probably equal to one mile i'm heading back to the Nisberry tree we have we have a whole lot of nisberry now this is my nisberry fruit i can pick these and let me pick one here's one this one looks like it's ready This is how the nisberry looks. It's very, very sweet. So these are all fever grass or lemon grass. I'm back at my pomegranate tree. See, there's one. This one is ready. Look at it. It's very small, but you know, pomegranate has a lot of health benefits. This is our lemon. It's not fully fit yet, but it can do the job just the same. Here's some more, guys. get this one see how big this one is this way about half pound now may I go back where where the yam is To see if the yams are ready. So this is the yam vine, and whenever you the, the vines start to dry up, that's when you know that the yams are, are ready. Maybe I dig one up just to show you. We'll see what happens. I just found a yam. So this is how yam looks. This looks like a white yam. So we have different types of yam. We have yellow yams and we have white yams. So this is how it looks. And here's one more right here. I'm gonna put it closer so. Here's one more. So guys, this is an update on my papa. You see how big they're getting? I'm gonna give this another month and I will come back and show you but it's getting really big. Who remember what this this is called?
So this is now ready. So you know what? Me I gonna make some aki and saltfish and dumpling and banana and yam. And you know what me I gonna get me yam from already, right? All right. So this is the open aki. And I'm gonna show you something inside of the aki. So this, when you're preparing aki, you have to make sure you take this out, this little red part. You have to cut the head off and you have to clean this part out. You don't want to cook your aki with this part in it. how much aki I get off of one small tree and this is a very small aki tree but it's not about the size you know that saying right okay it's not about the size I'm a real country girl. You see, one thing about Jamaica, you don't worry about food or fruits. There's always something you can cook. in a place where you can't get it you can always buy it in the supermarket but it's just not the same it's not the same look at this gorgeous sunset look at it If you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel until next time bye guys